And the way the lineup set up for him, uh, the opportunity to get him in uh, at, at that point, if the clean inning, the first inning, um, we like the matchups there for the second inning, but really that was the, the job by Keela to, to get through that inning to, to allow us to, to run Dinkman uh, through that stretch of hitters. <clears throat> T.R. Um, what led you to go with Dyson instead of Tolleston in the ninth inning? Well, we've, we talked to the four guys that we, we use at the back end of the bullpen and about the stretch of hitters and how we're going to utilize those guys to, to match up through the different innings. And, and uh, it's about the stretch of, of hitters that we feel that are the best matchups for, for those guys. And it, it, we just had it set up uh, that way. And, and, and so to get Dyson in, in that area, uh, we felt that that was the best area for him. Tali's still our guy out there in the bullpen is is part of the mix and and you will see Tollison at the end of the game but in these type of, of ball games and in series like this it's about finding the best matchups for for our bullpen our bullpens the way it's set up and the guys that we have it's it's not by any stretch a, a perfect stretch for guys it it's not ninth inning, eighth inning, seventh inning. It's about those guys coming in when we, we feel is the best opportunity for them to get the, the run of outs that we need to get them. Over here on the right again in the back. Uh, you made uh, mention uh, before the game about uh, uh, perhaps the Blue Jays being favored by a lot of people and that this had seemed to fire up your troops. What was the mood of your team going into this game? Well, we got a very confident group of guys. We got a group of guys that, that they they absolutely love playing together, and and they've been up against it all year long since spring training. So it's not anything that that we haven't faced already about what uh, is said on the outside about our ball club, and we know that we're a ball club that's that's not a perfect ball club, but we we've, we've got a group of guys that play extremely well together. It's a good team. They play very well together. They love playing the game of baseball together, and they find a way to, to, to meet the demands of the game. And, and so um, they don't really listen uh, to what's being said about them. All they know is they want to go out and play baseball. Right here. Jeff, can you talk a, a little bit about um, what the chatter in the dugout was, losing Beltre and then the early diagnosis on Beltre and his availability going forward? Well, the availability, uh, as we know it right now, is that I have no information on that. What I do know is that um, Adrian, when he slid into second base, uh, came up with some, some back spasms. Um, further evaluation, we'll know more uh, tonight and also in, in the morning of, uh, of where he's at. Um, but what I do know about Adrian Beltre is that his last at bat, what he did in his last at bat is phenomenal. Talked about it all year long, just how tough this man is and, and what he's capable of doing. And you never count him out in the chatter. Uh, I think what we went through in, in spring training in the very first part of the, the year, um, losing Darvish, Holland, Rua. And then there was a stretch that we, were, we played, didn't have Adrian. Um, so we know how to play. Uh, in, in those, when, when we're faced with that that type of adversity, obviously we want Adrian in the game. He's heart and soul of this ball club. But um, look, this is a group of guys that find a way, and you saw that early on with some of the things we were capable of doing, and uh, scratched out a couple of runs early that, that um, really got us on the board and got us going. Right here on the aisle. Sometimes we talk about uh, the inexperience uh, is, is a good thing if these guys are a little <laughs> bit ignorant of it. Uh, you had today, you had Odor, Chirinos, DeShields, three guys with not a lot of experience really came up big. Is that a product of, of that mentality? Well, they have experience of playing the game of baseball, and, and they're, they're doing things that they've done all year long. Uh, we talked about it early that those runs that you, you're able to, to, to get at, from the bottom part of the order, they're, they're really special, and, and they can be uh, game winners for you, obviously. But uh, to have those guys step up in, in, in those situations, it's, 
it's huge and they're they're gaining experience of what it feels like to play in front of crowds like this and um, I think they'll be better for it every step of the way. Jeff, two more questions. Tior? What was your feeling about Gardo after five innings? I know you had to like what he, he did through five, but at that point, what's your thinking there? Well, yeah, he did an, a great job for us and, and really what we, we were looking for from, from Yo. Um, and he did what he does and he, he kept it right where we needed to, for it to be and, and really masterful job of moving the fastball around, utilizing secondary pitches, kind of keeping the hitters off balance and got, got hit, got barreled up a couple of times, but uh, really the five innings, uh, that's what we really needed from him. And uh, so I think he did a great job. Jesse? It looked like after the home run, Elvis went out to the mound to you know, get Keel just sort of mentally back on track. What did you think of that? And is that something that he does, you know, that kind of leadership on that? Yeah, that's, that's a veteran presence that we have. That's, uh, Elvis is a guy that is, was one of those young guys that, that played in these type of games uh, when he first came to the big league. So uh, it's the bank of games that he's logged in over the course of time that it, it, he's been doing that all year long. There have been certain times where he's walked to the mound. And I can tell you there was a, 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 one of the very first games uh, that Keela came into in Oakland that uh, Elvis walked to the mound, uh, fielder walked to the mound, uh, settled the young man down and, and, and got him refocused. And, and that's what they do for each other. They notice those, uh, those opportunities and times when it's necessary to go talk to their teammates and, and get them locked back in.